Yes, this is A.S. Johnson Memorial High School by Victor Alpha 2, Victor Delta Lima, in Thetford Mines for a scheduled contact. Over. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is A.S. Johnson Memorial High School by Victor Alpha 2, Victor Delta Lima, in Thetford Mines for a scheduled contact. Over. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is ASJ Memorial High School by Victor Alpha 2, Victor Delta Lima, in Thetford Mines for a scheduled contact. Over. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is AS Johnson Memorial High School by Victor Alpha 2, Victor Delta Lima, in Thetford Mines for a scheduled contact. Over. Well, we are very glad to have you uh, uh, as a contact, so we will now go on, move on for the, with the questions. Over. I am ready for the questions from the students. Over. What does it feel like to return to Earth after you've been in space for a long time? Over. Well, mostly, I've, I've had, uh, prior to this, two short space shuttle missions of only two weeks, and that wasn't too bad. I'll have to let you know in uh, about eight days what it feels like to return to Earth after uh, five and a half months, because I'm heading home in a week. Uh, my friends tell me that uh, a week and busy as they try to get their balance, and then get sore, really, from a lot of the muscles in our legs and backs and necks that are, are not used while we're up here. Over. How do you take a shower? Over. Over. We, our garbage 
garbage. We can't just take the garbage out to the can outside or something. So we have to, uh, we save it up inside, we pack it t very tightly, and we separate the wet garbage, like the leftover food wrappers and containers, uh, and, uh, and the dry garbage, like uh, dry towels and uh, uh, paper goods, things like that. We separate them and we pack those. The wet stuff gets packed in special lined bags that seal up real well. They, they would really smell. Uh, and we save them up until there's a ship leaving. And so we send the garbage home on the cargo ship to bring cargo up. And once we get all the cargo unloaded, we start filling them full of trash and then send them away. So they make a really nice shooting star over. How do you get water supply in space? Over. Oh, that's interesting because water weighs a lot. You can't dehydrate water. So it, 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 and uh, we, we do up here is we actually reuse it quite a bit. Uh, uh, all of the, the our sweat and the, and the moisture that comes from the humans up here that where we're breathing and, and all that gets collected by the air conditioner system. You know, at your house that same water is collected maybe by the air conditioner system, but it's just dumped into a drain. Up here it's dumped into a cleaner, and uh, that water is recycled. Uh, for about the last year or so, we've also been uh, recycling a large amount of the water from the urine waste, from the human liquid waste. And uh, that takes a little, uh, uh, you know, a little trust and confidence in the technology, but it works very, very well, and we have a lot of things in place to make sure that that's working well. And that's important. If we want to go further, if we want to go to Mars someday, and I would... I won't make it to Mars, but I sure hope I see some of you guys put the first human footprints on Mars. Uh, we're going to need to be able to recycle almost all of our water because it is so heavy and you need a lot to stay healthy. Over. Does zero gravity make you more or less tired by the end of the day? Over. I think zero gravity makes you less tired by the end of the day in general because you're, you're not working when you're just standing someplace. You're not really working hard. And even if I go, you know, sort of like quickly from one place to another, I'm mostly flying. So I use my arms, my legs to give me a push, and then I just go flying and uh, try, try to do that carefully so I don't bump into anything expensive, and, and it's all expensive. So I, I think in general you're less physically tired, but maybe more mentally tired because the days are really long. There's a lot of different stuff. And you spend a lot of time trying to figure things out. Uh, and uh, to try to do the, the procedures to maintain the space station and run the science experiments. Over. Can you blow a balloon in space? Over. Well, that's neat. That neat question. Certainly, you can blow up a balloon in space. Uh, the balloon, blowing a balloon, just counts on a difference in air pressure, and we use our lungs to put some air inside that balloon. And more air, and there's more air pressure on the inside than on the outside, and that makes the balloon stretch into the big, you know, round balloon shape. And that same thing works up here, absolutely. Uh, up here, though, any bullet, any air inside the balloon will float the same. It doesn't have to be helium to make it float like you have on the ground. Over. What is NASA currently researching? Over. There are about 140 experiments going on right now on the space station. And some of them are outside, measuring everything from you know, cosmic particles to uh, uh, looking at the sun. Uh, we have a lot of things going on on the inside, everything from uh, physics experiments with uh, liquid flow, uh, mental energy uh, experiments where we, we heat up metal samples and cool them under controlled conditions to grow crystals inside the metal and learn more about the structures. We have a, a flame a combustion experiment, which under very carefully controlled conditions, we're learning more about the precise physics of a flame and things like that. We try to learn more, it's, it's fundamental science, but if we could understand it better, we might be able to make uh, uh, burners that are uh, just a little more efficient and save millions or billions of dollars a year in fuel costs. And the last part of the exercise we're doing is guys like me. I'm a guinea pig as they study my bones and my, my muscles and my heart and lungs over the uh, long time of exposure to zero gravity. Over. Is there a lot of trash in space? You know, there is a lot of trash. We talked about the
the stuff that we make inside, but there's a lot of space junk out there too. Old satellites or pieces of satellites that have blown up, and they pose a risk uh, to us and to other spacecraft out here. So everybody's working to uh, be do better about not letting uh, satellites blow up so that they make such a big cloud of trash. Over. And when I says this is Victor Alpha 2, Victor Delta Lima, and we are going to retake the question be, uh, because we didn't hear the answer. Over. With that, is there a lot of trash in space? Over. How do you take a shower? Over. Oh, you take a shower. Unfortunately, you do not. We don't get to take showers because the water cannot find a drain. And so we take a sponge bath with hot, soapy water on a wash pot. And we, we, uh, we, we scrub it down with that. And we are sorry. We are now going to get out of contact. So we are very, we thank you very much for taking 10 minutes of your time to answer us, our school uh, in Thetford Mines, uh, to answer questions from our students. Thank you very much.